Okay, so what is a tick? A tick is a transaction instead of shares traded. So for instance, I have this chart set up on ticks and I selected 133 ticks. So one candle would represent 133 trades. This is not based on volume, it's based on the amount of trades made. So what it does, it gives you the advantage that it provides a different perspective on market activity. While standard time-based charts such as a one minute, five minute are commonly used, tick charts offer insights into market dynamics that may not be as apparent in traditional time-based charts. A tick chart focuses on the number of trades or transactions rather than time intervals. This can provide a clearer view of trading activity and volume patterns. Traders who rely on vol volume analysis may find tick charts helpful in identifying market trends, support and resistance levels, and other key trading signals. Tick charts can be more responsive to short-term price movements compared to time-based charts. If there is an increase in market activity, tick charts can capture these movements more quickly and accurately potentially giving traders an advantage in identifying short-term opportunities or reacting to sudden market shifts. The way you get to your tick charts is, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set it up in case you want to use it later, is you click the gear icon here and you go to your favorite time frames and add a time frame. And right here you're going to select tick for one day and you can choose any number of ticks and remember their transactions and I usually use the 133 ticks that would be 113 transactions and so each candle is going to represent 133 transactions So once you select your 133 here, you can save it and add it over to your times. And I usually move mine up to the top. I've got 47 ticks and 133. 47 ticks is only 47 transactions and it can be quite fast. So you're gonna have to find the number that suits your trading style so that you're not overrun by the candles flying by you before you get a chance to react. So we're looking at a tick chart. This is the current candle and I've created a label and you can go into studies after you load the label and you can adjust the tick frame that you prefer uh, whatever you have displayed on your chart, I suggest you put in here. And the label, what it's going to do is it's going to let you know if within the time frame you selected, were there more sellers or more buyers? And if I were to tell you how to base what it is, if you were to take this time in sales and for every 133 transactions, you could determine if there were more buyers or sellers. That's what this label is going to do. It's going to say net selling if the current candle had more sellers or more buyers. It's going to say net buying or it's going to go to neutral if it's pretty equal. It's going to give you an advantage and some people like trading on the ch tick chart better than a time frame based analysis. Me, I trade on both of them. Uh, most of the time I trade on the 133. So if you're a day trader and you want to catch things faster when they're at the bottom, this is going to give you a more accurate entry. 
you'll notice it'll dip down and it'll shoot up way faster than a traditional time-based chart. Uh, it may even lower the the uh, the cost here, but on your regular chart, it's going to be let's say this was two dollars and fifty cents, two sixty. Well, this is going to break it down into smaller increments. So even though this takes off, it doesn't mean that you missed a trade because this tick chart can go really high or it can go really low based on what you have your setting on. So give it a try. Uh, set up your tick charts. Base your transactions on or base your buying and selling decisions on transactions and see if this works out for you. Appreciate you watching my videos and have a blessed day.